57. What is it? Then answered he me. Then answered he me. And said, this is the condition of the battle. This is the condition of the battle of the fight this is the results of your battle which man that is born upon the earth shall fight amen now hear this amen yes. we are all in a fight, in a fight. That's, that's right don't right. worry about who you're fighting out there right. you are in, in a fight with your own lust that's right your own want That's right. and your own desires. That's right. You are your worst enemy, first and foremost. Oh, yeah. Never mind somebody next door don't like you. Forget about them. Forget about Your own self is your worst enemy. First Peter chapter 2 and at verse 11. That's what? Dearly beloved, I beseech you as strangers Dearly and beloved, I beseech you. As strangers, as strangers and pilgrims, pilgrims, abs wanderers, abstain from fleshy lust. Abstain, amen, from fleshy desire. Why? Which war is in a conflict against the soul. Amen. So we're in a battle. We're in a battle. Yeah, me good. That's right. A war, a oh. conflict. Oh yeah. Lust against lust. That's right. Want to say what? Oh yes. I said there's lust. Yeah, me good. Come on, Against lust. That's right. God is lustful. That's right. Lust just simply means to want. Galatians chapter 5 and at verse Someone 17. Someone said, God, I thought lust was wrong. There's a right lust. That's right. And a wrong lust. That's right. What got you here today is lust. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. I want to throw that out at you. <laughs> Amen. Stir up your mind, Come force on. you to think now. Yeah. What got you here is lust. lust. What made me go to the water? Lust. Lust. Mm. What made me seek the Holy Ghost? Lust. Lust. That's right. Hallelujah. What made me fast? Lust. That's right. There's a right lust. It's a right lust. And there's a wrong lust. In Galatians chapter 5 Let and me verse show you 17. Both. Let's go down to Galatia where brother Paul is preaching to the church. Galatians chapter 5 and verse 17. Yeah, man. We'll start at verse 16. All right. This I say then. This wa I say. Walk in the spirit. Walk in the spirit. Hold it. Hold it. Come on. Walk in the spirit. Walk in, the walk in scripture. That's it. Jesus said the words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. Walk. In the spirit. In the spirit. Walk in scripture. When you walk in scripture, your feet will be shod with the preparations of the gospel of peace. That's right. God were to bring peace to your steps of confusion. Oh, yes. Eh? This I say. When you then. was out there in the world, your steps was in confusion. That's right. That's why you went to places that was of the devil <laughs> because you had a different kind of lust. That's right. That's right. Amen. You went to the club and look at the woman bounce between your legs. Mm. Coming down on a pole and you left broke. Amen. You went to the club, woman, yeah. and look at a man come out of a cake with, go with a gold thong. That's right. A barbell boy. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. Went to the club where it was crowded like a convention. Yeah. Dancing and bumping and grinding and smoking weed. And oh, yeah. Getting high off crack. And that's that's right. what you were doing. You Couldn't were doing. wait to go there. To your friend's house and yeah. drink liquor. Yeah. Pass out. Pass out until you pissed on yourself the next morning. My Lord. Got all on a bus dripping wet. A grown man stinking. My Lord. Preaching. Eh? Preaching. Sitting on a bus. Didn't know where your stop was. On a chair. That's right. Come on, King. That's right. That's right. Am I right, I said? Amen. Hear me good. That's right. Look at where God brought you from. Amen. And look at where you are. Yeah. Amen. The Holy Ghost says what? This I say then, walk in the spirit. Walk in the spirit. Walk Amen. in scripture. That's it. 
Then what? And ye shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. But for me to do that, I got to set God before me at all times. Oh, that's right. That's right. It don't mean you like, somebody say, well, I do walk in the scripture, Pastor Jennings. I have my own devotion every day. I start my day off with prayer. I read several chapters before I get my day started. I ain't <laughs> talking about that. <laughs> no. You ever read the scriptures and the devil deal with you while you're reading? While you're reading. Huh? That's right. You ever be on your knees praying the devil bring the most stupidest, outrageous, outrageous, the dumbest things come to your head? That's right. That's right. Glory to God. That's right. I want to open your eyes and make you realize how consistent and relentless your enemy is. Amen. All right, let's go back to Galatians. Let's get the lust. For the flesh lusteth against the spirit. That's one lust. The flesh, that's one lust. One lust. The flesh lusts against the spirit. Against God. And the spirit. And the spirit. Against the flesh. The spirit got a lust that's against us. And these are contrary these the one to are the other. Opposite. The one to the other. They are in conflict one with the other. So that ye cannot do the things ye that ye would. cannot do the things ye would. But if ye be led of the spirit. Hold it. Hmm. Glory to God. Amen. If you led, but if you be led of the Spirit by the Holy Ghost, you are not under the law. You're if, not under the law. If you be if led, you led of the Spirit. Bible said they that are led by the Spirit are the sons of God. That's right. Now the question is this, because I hear a lot of people say, you know, I think the Lord will lead me to do this. That I think the Lord, let's, let's just talk about that a little bit. Because people are out of habit. Lord let me to do this, the Lord let me to do that, the Lord let me to go to your house and you <laughs> ate up all my chicken. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Lord let me hear. Lord let they say this loosely. Loosely. That's right. How do you define the leading of the Lord? Leading of the Lord. Is it a move? Is it a gut feeling? The leading of the Lord is the scriptures. It's the scriptures. That's right. And God never move on nobody or deal with anybody in any manner that's contrary to scripture. That's right. But if you're ignorant of the Lord yeah. and the function of the Lord before you blame your thinking, your decision, your attempt on him, on him. know him well enough. That's right. Before you accuse them. That's right. That's right. Because you don't want to find yourself lying. No. On the most high. That's right. Oh, no. Are you listening? In the book of Lamentations chapter 3. Follow me. We'll start at verse 36. Lamentations 3, start at verse 35. At verse 35. All right, come on. To turn aside the right of a man before the face of the most high. Yes. To subvert a man in his cause, the Lord approveth not. Yes. Who is he that saith? Listen at this. Amen. Who is he that said? And it cometh to pass. And then it happens. When the Lord commandeth it not. And the Lord ain't said nothing. That's right. Who is he? Who are you? That's right. That's right. <laughs> Who is he? Sometimes people, you know, the Lord told me this. The Lord told me that. Wait, wait, wait. wait. You sure it was the Lord? Amen. It wasn't you? Mm -hmm. Wasn't the way you felt? That's wasn't right. those hog malls you ate last night? <laughs> That's right. Wasn't that pork chop <laughs> that shot your blood up? <laughs> Amen. Amen. That's right. Amen. Be careful. Be careful. When you blame something on God. Oh, yeah. Bible speak plain. Who is he that saith, and it cometh to pass? Who is it? When the Lord. That saith, and it happens. When the Lord. Commandeth it not. He ain't said nothing. That's Amen. Right. You better be careful. Oh, oh, yeah. Amen. When I was in falsehood. A scripture was commonly quoted, prophesy according to the proportion of faith. Yeah. And they took that and ran with it and felt as though they can just say anything. And if they believe it, it's just going to happen. Right. Freelance prophecy. Yeah. Amen. Freelance. Yeah. If that would have took place, I would have been a millionaire. Yes, you would have been. I would have just said, I'm, going, I, I'm a millionaire. That's right. That's right. 
That's right. But I still had to go in the subway <laughs> and go downtown. Amen. And get the bus. Yeah. Are you listening to what I'm telling you? Who is he that So the say spirit it? lusts against us. That's right. Lust simply means to want. Yeah. What the Lord want and what we want differs. Differs. So we have to bring all our wants. Hear me good. Mm. And in line it with what God wants. That's right. And brother, that's a task. Oh, yes. Think of it. Jesus said, I do always those things that please him. Please him. That, and, and, and that represents that the church, the body of Christ, have to do always, always. those things that please God. Right. My Lord. Do you know how hard that is? My Lord, my Lord. Your thoughts got to please him because the Bible said the Holy Ghost thinketh no evil. No evil. If you think a lie, think a lie is equal to telling it. That's right. Because the Bible says all liars. All liars. Shall have their part in the lake. In the lake. Bible says don't be busy by other people matters. If you're nosy, that's a sin. That's a sin. Mm. Help us Lord. Yeah. Come on, Jay. Help us Lord. Amen. Well, it seemed like, I don't want to hear that. No. The Bible's caught that. That's it right. says there's a way that seems seem right, right to man. And the end thereof are the ways of death. You can't even go by what seem right. <laughs> That's right. You ought to go to hell if you do that. There is a way which seemeth right. Let's get Bible for it. Proverbs chapter 14 and verse 12. It either is right or it's wrong, and you got to have facts behind both. That's right. Holy Ghost said, there we is speak a... that mm -hmm. which we do which know. We do know. Now we speak that which we do assume or heard or what was told. That's right. That's dangerous. Oh, yeah. A lot of innocent people in the grave today, oh, yeah. falsely accused and in jail. That's right. Because somebody lied on him or lied on yeah. her. Some is dead now. Dead. That's right. Amen. Right. Oh, hatred to make people do some awful things. Yes, it will. Hear this. There is a way which seemeth right unto a man. You see, the Lord just digs up everything. <laughs> yes, he does. There's a way that seemed right unto man, and what's the result? But the end thereof, the end thereof are the ways of death. It's the ways of death. Ways of death. Go back to Estrus. Back in 2 Estrus chapter 7 and verse 57. I want to take my time and soak you a little and get this. Then answered he me. Then answered he me. And said, this is the condition of the battle. Now this is the condition. Brothers and sisters. Amen. Anybody got in mind to be right with God. Yeah. You have to condition yourself in this fight. That's it. You have to condition yourself, condition yourself to be lied on repeatedly. Yeah. Use, abuse, yeah. falsely accused, That's right. indicted, yeah. scandalized. Oh, yeah. Amen. That's right. Yeah. Ain't no need for you to complain if you're doing the same thing. That's right. That's right. Are you getting what I'm telling you? This yeah. is the condition. This is the condition of the battle, of the fight. Which man that is born upon Which the man earth man that is born on the earth shall fight. He's going to fight it, whether you want it or not. That's right. You're going to fight this. Oh, yeah. In other words, you're going to experience this. Oh, yes. So once I don't bother nobody, I'll hush your mouth. <laughs> That's right. I care nothing about you don't bother nobody. No. <laughs> hey, man, because you ain't out there shooting, that don't mean a straight bullet won't get you. That's true. You know, people got that naive notion. I don't bother nobody. Why this happened to me? Because mm -hmm. you're born. Man that is born of a woman. This is why it's happening. In Job chapter 14 and at verse 1. Listen at the Bible. Man that is born of a woman. What is it? Is a few days. How quick? A few days. You ain't got to be a gospel for someone to talk about you. No. How can anybody say anything they don't know me? Since when does someone got to know you to talk? That's true. That's right. That's true. Anybody can say anything they want about you. They yeah. can wake up in the morning. Uh, I think I lie about her today. That's true. I think I will just run his name down in the ground today. That's right. Don't say I don't make sense, Pastor Jennings. Everything behind every cause, every, behind every effect, there's a cause. That's your opinion. St. John chapter 15 and That's verse 25. That's not Bible. No, it's not. 
You want to say what? That's not Bible. No, it's not. This is what the Bible says. St. John 15 and verse 25. What is it? But this cometh to pass. This cometh to pass. That the word might be fulfilled which that was the written word in their law. might be fulfilled. Which were written in their law. That was written in their law. They hated me. How? Without a cause. Ain't got no reason. That's right. So you that walk around and whining, how can they say this? Why would they do this? I'm nice. I'm to <laughs> myself. Right. I, I just come to church and pray and just praise the Lord. Praise and the then Lord. I go home and stay to myself. Oh, shut up. <laughs> That's right. That's right. That's true. <laughs> That's true. Are you getting what I'm telling you? That's right. If you that naive and think you are. Uh, existing and avoiding the war that the Bible say you're going to be a part of. That's right. That's true. God is talking here. This is the condition of the this battle. This is the condition. This of, is the result. Of the battle. Of the battle. Hallelujah. Which man that is Which born upon the earth. born on the earth. Shall fight. You're going to fight it. Oh, yeah. He didn't say man shall fight it. That bother people. No. No, no. He didn't say man won't fight if he stayed to himself. <laughs> no. Well, no, no. they don't know me. Shut up. Amen. The Bible says you shall fight it. Shall fight. And if you say you shall fight it, it's a promise. That, that's fight right. Fight is coming your way. That's, that's right. In fact, this is divine prophecy. It, that's right. That falls upon the life of every human. Then answered he me and said, this then is the condition, he me, this is the condition of, the battle, of the battle. Which man that is born upon the earth shall fight. Shall fight. What else? That if he be overcome. If he be taken over by it. He shall suffer as thou hast said. He shall do what? He shall suffer. He shall suffer. As thou hast said. As God said. But if he get the victory. Go with it, God. Amen. <laughs> and but if he get the victory. If he get the victory. He shall receive the thing that I say. Hallelujah. 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 Here, get God's blessing. Hallelujah. That's right. That's right. Hallelujah. Are you getting what I'm talking? That's right. So if you walk around here, you and uh, I don't bother nobody. I come to church. I mind my business. You might as well stop writing out the list of what you don't do. If the world hate you. If the, hear the Bible. St. John chapter 15 and verse 18. If the world hate you. He know that it hated me before it hated you. Jesus just slapping every excuse you can come up with away. <laughs> That's right. I don't bother nobody. Who cares? That's, that's right. Jesus is hated to this day. Amen. To, to this day. That's why they're still lying on him. Made him the second person in the Godhead. Oh, yes. Still lying on him. Say he's not God. That's right. He's just a God. Yeah. Oh, yeah. One man told me Jesus is God's understudy. Wow. His apprentice. Amen. The folly that the heathens yeah. come up with. Oh, with no conscience. That's true. They blaspheme today, repetitiously, with no conscience. Amen. No. Amen. They read the Bible, but can't explain nothing. Can't explain it. That's right. Glory oh, we'll to God. What did Esther say? Back in 2nd Esther 7 and verse 57. Been at verse 56. Go back there. At verse 56. Follow me. For while we lived. For a while mm -hmm. we lived. While and, we are alive. And committed iniquity. And sin. We consider not that we should begin to suffer for it after death. Wait a minute. There's life after death? We consider not that we should begin to suffer for it after death. If there's no life after death, how can you suffer can for you something suffer. you done when you was living after you're dead? That's true. That's right. That's true. That's right. That's true. That's something. You have repent of your sins, baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. not seeking the Lord for the baptism of the Holy Ghost, Man. Don't want to follow God holy teaching. Yes. I don't care what kind of nice funeral they give you. No. Amen. They can go to boys and spend nine hundred dollars. Amen. For your suit. Suit you up. Suit you up. With your custom made silk shirt and a silk necktie. That's right. Amen. Don't give your alligator shoes. Just put real alligators on your feet. <laughs> Amen. Never mind the shoes. Just put the whole alligator on each foot. My oh, Lord. Get you a custom made solid bronze and copper casket. Mm. Amen. Amen. Have the inside of your casket. Don't put silk in there. Put the silk worm. 
Lord. Let the silk worm make the silk wire in there. <laughs> Amen. Have a custom made lining. Lord. Put you in a 24 karat gold vault. Mm. Give you a decent haircut. Shape up. Put a little makeup on your face so you don't look like you're going to hell. <laughs> That's right. Nice day. That's right. Let Reverend Chicken Wing say all the nice things about you. Amen. Let your mama read a poem about her drunken son. Yeah. And a prostituting daughter. That's right. So you don't like to hear preaching like this because no. it's up in your face. Amen. And you're not used to it. Nice Amen. Day. But if you die without God, no man can put you into heaven. No, no man. No, no man. The Bible says, he that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. He that believeth not I shall be, be damned. Shall That's be so clean and so plain. That's plain. That's right. I want to say to you celebrities out there, yeah. be a fool now. You can be a world-renowned fool, glory in all your awards, but not a reward that a man or a woman gave you in this life. That's right. It's going to make you befriend God. If a man be getting a hundred children. Do you hear this? In the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 6 and verse 3. Amen. If a man be getting a hundred oh, children. Oh, the celebrities are watching too. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes, they're watching. My son was telling me while he was at work the other day. A uh, gentleman came in that recognized him. Him and some brothers went up to a uh, music store and was getting some equipment. So they was in there playing. And the uh, gentleman recognized him. But they didn't know who the gentleman was. Mm -hmm. And uh, the gentleman uh, told him, yeah, I know, I know who you are. I saw you in such and such a uh, music store. Uh, I think it's called Sam Ash or one of them. Mm -hmm. And uh, he said, yeah. And the guy began to give his background, the different groups he played with and how he played with Herbie Hancock. Mm -hmm. Amen. Well, many folks don't know who he, who he is, but many of us do know who he That's is. That's right. Yeah. And uh, he said, get out of here. He said, oh, yeah, I can call Herbie right now if you want me to. He said, my son said, you don't know no Herbie Hancock. He called him up and FaceTimed him. Wow. And just so happened, the guy told Herbie Hancock about my son, that he met him in the store playing. And uh, Herbie Hancock said, oh, you the young guy that my man told me about. He said, I can tell you play at, in a church. He said, that's most time where it starts. <laughs> <laughs> starts in church, you know. Amen. And uh, they offered him a gig, making 3000 per gig. And, uh, of course, he turned it all the way down. Right. <laughs> turned it all the way down so he can go all the way up. <laughs> Wonderful. Yeah. Amen. Right. Amen. But Herb, uh, Herbie asked him, uh, what church you go to? He said, first church of the Lord Jesus Christ, Pastor Gino Jennings. Herbie responded, Gino Jennings? Mm. Yes. He said, oh, yeah, he's rough. Mm. <laughs> the world watching. Wonderful. That's wonderful. And the world must understand Amen. all of your awards. It doesn't matter what category they fall in. No. All of your wealth. It doesn't matter how much it is. That's no, right. no. Nobody Amen. have more or equal to God. That's right. Nobody. You must stand Amen. before the judgment seat, the seat of, Christ. of Christ. Hallelujah. I want you to get this, celebrities, get this. That's right. You can make your movies. You can make mockery of God. You can blaspheme Christ. That's right. For we must all appear. You grown men can keep selling your dignity, putting on women clothes. Yeah. And become a Hollywood whore. Yeah. That's right. Anytime a man gets dressed up like a woman, use a Hollywood hoe. That's right. Use a hoe for Hollywood. That's true. Huh? That's right. Use a hoe for Hollywood. <laughs> Amen. Did you get what I'm telling you? That's something. They just sing that song. Hooray for Hollywood. <laughs> no, use a hoe for Hollywood. Amen. Anytime you will sell your dignity, Hollywood castrated your manhood yes. for yes. money and lynched you with wealth. Gold has been the ruin of many. Do you hear this? In the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 31. You've been lynched. You're Hollywood's puppet. That's right. You're Hollywood's prostitutes. You're Hollywood's slave. That's right. Yeah. Any Tom Hollywood can tell yeah. that grown man, I give you 30 million. Go ahead. Man. Put on a dress. Go ahead. And what you said? Yes, master. Put on them heels. That's right. Yes, master. Put on that lipstick. Come on. I think you want it, man, sir. <laughs> That's right. Put on that 
that hairpiece. Yeah. Yes, master. Yeah. That switch for Hollywood. Amen. Okay, master. 